right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the New York Jets. They'll run with a second-year man from Louisiana, Elijah McGuire. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's Darnold now on second down. Herndon's got it complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Third and long, it's Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Charles, for the New England Patriots, one stat that you and I were looking at before the game, it's kind of interesting. When they lost in weeks 14 and 15, it's the first time they suffered back-to-back -back defeats in December since 2002. So I don't know that they're in trouble as they go toward the playoffs, but not not playing their best football. I think that's a great point because you have to go back to 2002 for that to happen. So their level of consistency off the charts. But you're exactly right. They are not playing their best football. And what they're always competing for is one of those opening week buys where they have to play that extra game in the playoffs. It looks like this year they may very well have to play that extra game. And if that's the case, it's not the recipe for getting to the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. Brady to throw on second down. Goes underneath here to White. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped 10 yards, first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Brady now on first down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Ron Gronkowski. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out. Things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, Michelle, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. 
Wait, 20! They'll run it here. This is James White. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. Before New York takes their next snap on offense, Charles, look ahead to the offseason here. I think it's going to be pretty eventful, more so than it has been in recent years. Yeah, I think this team's going to look a lot different when they take the field in 2019. I think probably starting at the head coaching position and the staff, that'll change. But then what is going to surround Sam Darnold, their quarterback, who was a rookie in 2018? Go They've got to continue to get weapons and an offensive line in order for him to flourish. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. To throw on second down is Darnold, and his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jermaine Curse, and it's third and five. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Darnold from the gun, and he's got a new one. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, bro he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Darnold on first down. And he hits turned it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one, and another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Here we go now. Here's McGuire. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Uh, here we go. On second down, Darnold. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, right, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run with McGuire, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. 
They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Shotgun, here's Darnold. Found his target, it's Anderson. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One-handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. On first and 10, Darnold. The grab made by Curse over the middle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now Darnold looking middle, and it's incomplete. The storm windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. The Jets on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Hurry up, here we go. Darnold to throw again. And it's caught by Herndon. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Back to throw, Darnold. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you would better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great play there. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken a first-quarter lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Myers now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that Wait, way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. A gain of six there on first. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Big Leonard Williams there on the stop. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Boy, 20. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. But they've got a third and in inches coming up, trying to keep the chains moving. Brady going to throw. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. On first and ten, here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A give, this is Michelle. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Brady now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. On the handoff, it's Michelle. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Right, New England on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Buster Screen. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time. I do want to take this time to mention that the next few months, very big in the competitive Madden Championship Series. A few weeks ago, we saw Skimbo go back to back. That's right, back to back, second straight year. You're fired up. And then next up, the Madden Challenge, and it's a $190,000 prize pool, and the ladders to qualify for that tournament now available in Mutt Draft Mode. Exciting things. By the way, what would your... Wait, you have a gamer tag, Charles? No, I do not have a gamer tag. You must be a good player in order to earn a moniker. On the carry, this is McGuire. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Jets on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Right, here we go. Boom, the shotgun snap for Darnold. Over the middle, it's complete. 
And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here we go now. They go play action here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. Right, there he is, and they passed him off to each defender. He rifles one that's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, partner, like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and everyone out there in Madland as well. And hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful holidays for all. But as you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of, a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate that big <laughs> chest. Go. But enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. On the ground, Michelle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. 20, 20. Come on, come on. On first down, Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, some news that gave us a chuckle, and we could all use that around the holiday season. Josh Johnson, a great story. He was back home in Oakland when the Redskins called to see if he'd like to join him for the remainder of the season. So how did he get to know his new teammates? Well, what did he do? He turned to the Madden game, Charles. Yeah, and that's how you learn who they are, right? Learn what they do, have some tendencies, get some ideas about their speed and what they do well and maybe what they don't do so well. And it really helped him acclimate and got himself a big victory in week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about the bloodline of Josh Johnson, though? Also related to Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders and Marcus Peters of the Los Angeles Rams. Pretty good company. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Mike 20! Mike 20! Mike 20! Working from the gun, it's Brady. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. My 20, my 20. Throwing on first down is Brady. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From midfield, here's Brady. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it, and they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Hey, we got a second here. Let's go back to week 15, following the win over Green Bay for Chicago. Happiness rained down on the field. The Bears claiming the NFC North title, but one Bear took his celebration to an extreme. I know you saw this. Yes, I certainly did. Charles Leno Jr., left tackle for the Chicago Bears. 
got down on a knee and proposed to his girlfriend Jennifer. So not only celebrating an NFC North title, but now his proposal accepted by Jennifer, who will now be Mrs. Jennifer Leno Jr.? No, no junior. <laughs> no junior. By the way, smart move because she's not going to say no in front of 60,000 people. Go. Well, I've seen it happen before. Not pretty, but not in this case. Herndon's got it complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Here we go now. Now McGuire, and he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here we go now. Three, 19. Here's Darnold now on second down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. All right, here we go. Blue lining! Blue lining! He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. looking for and it's third down all right that one felt incomplete there but the best quarterbacks they'll miss up 40 percent of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year in this case you want perfection but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an right, opposite color jersey Green. third and long it's Darnold, and this is going to be incomplete not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And Myers able to knock it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's like never about them. Like That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. Well, partner, league-wide, I think we're set up for a wild month of January. It seems like this season, more than others, we've had a number of teams that you maybe say, hey, they're the Super Bowl favorites. Kind of the Rams early, then it was the Chiefs, Patriots kept winning, and the Saints, and now, heck, maybe even the Texans or the Bears could claim that moniker. Yeah, it's going to make for a wild month of January. And you just wonder right now, are we missing a team or two that's just a little bit outside the playoff hunt? Could they get hot? and be those teams you don't want to play and carry that momentum all the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I'm looking at the Indianapolis Colts as one of those teams. Here's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And now out come the Jets. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Now let's go. Boom, land it. Second down and 10. Darnold. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. All right, here we go. Green, 39. On first down, Darnold. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Here we go now. On second and 10, Darnold. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, there. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. That's caught right side by Anderson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here we go. Boom, landed. 
from the 50, it's Darnold. And he hits Herndon over the middle. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Hurry up, here we go. Blue landed. Blue. Again, Darnold. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This from 54 yards away. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, now it's Patterson. Oh, look at the juke. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And it's Michelle once again. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, Wait, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Brady. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Now. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. 
Now a play fake here on first down. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Brady again here on second and 10. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. And able to find Dorsey. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Brady now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On the ground, this is Michelle. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be a third and about 13. From the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the patch three. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive now. guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second and six, just inside the 30. Hurry up, here we go! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Jets on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and four. Here we go. Green, 39. Darnold from the gun. It's caught by Herndon. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. All right, here we go. Boom. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. All right, here we go. Three, 19. The shotgun snap for Donald. And his throw here is incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Jets on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This will be third and six. Now let's go. Green, 39. Throwing again is Darnold. Found his target, it's Anderson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Now let's go! Darnold on first down. And his throw is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Let's go! Back to the air, Darnick on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And a nice gain of 21 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that right, on display go. there for a good pickup. Darnold now to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kyle Van Noy able to get in and run him down for what will be a loss of 15 yards. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Play action. It's Darnold. And that'll be incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Now let's go. Green, 39. Now whistles Green, come in before 39. the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. A bad time for a full start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Hurry up, here we go. Blue line. To throw is Darnold. 
And he comes back with one complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And Myers able to knock it through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Again, it's Michelle. <laughs> And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. It looks way too easy right now. Two carries, two straight first down runs. The eyes are carrying the legs to the proper hole, but they're being created by an offensive line that has the leverage game going for them right now. Lower than the defensive front, creating space, and he's finding it in a big way. Got to love what they're doing on offense right now. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know right, this the holiday season. Oh, goes, well, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for... And got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They give him a gain of 38. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a changeup in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the changeup, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Hurry up, here we go. Green, third and down. Here's Darnold. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. 
But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! Back now in Foxborough. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. First and ten, Darnold. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and ten now from the 29. And they'll run it here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The safety, Patrick Chung, is the one who makes the stop. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Jets on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and seven. All right, here we go. Now Darnold. And an alley to run. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Hey, four down, four down. All right, here we go. 3 19. 3 19. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. To throw on second down is Darnold. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Now let's go! Blue, now it's Darnold. The quick slant caught, and he's in! Touchdown, Jets! Quincy Anunwa from 10 yards out, and the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Now, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Here's Myers now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Brady throwing on second down. This is White on the screen. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. To throw on third down, Brady. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Brady to his old reliable Edelman and the Patriots have a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and 10, here's Brady. And a dump off to White. No gain, and it's second down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Brady to throw again. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Now Brady again. He's going to sling this deep downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? Avery Williamson there to make the stop. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Brady to throw on second down. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rod Gronkowski from six yards away. And the Patriots get a score closer.
now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. All right, here we go. 319. The first down throw, Darnold. The grab made by Curse over the middle. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Darnold. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back. But he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Hurry up, here we go. Darnold from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now Edelman. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? Wait, would they be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so? Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the... And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Wait, what is? Wait. Throwing on first down is Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Play 20! Play 20! They'll run it now out of the gun. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Working from the gun, it's Brady. 
Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Steve McClendon with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter is about it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. Brady now to throw. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the board. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Here we go now. They go again with McGuire, and the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. 
Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on to punt for New York. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Edelman set to return. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, Wait, stopped 20. right at the line, 20. so it's second and 10. Yeah. Back to throw. The throw left side complete to Hogan. A very solid gain of 27. And he did exactly what they needed him to do. Charles got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. 20. 20. Go. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They give him a gain of 37. Wait, wait, wait. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Mike, Looks you? like they want to finish this one off. Mike, He's back to throw. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Wait, wait, wait! Back to throw. And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth, now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now.
And now a critical extra point attempt here. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Roberts on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. And on the ground they go with a running back. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. They go again with Cannon. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Play action. Now it's Brady to Michelle on the dump off. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And something tells me the moment of overtime won't be too big for number 12, Tom Brady. 
Well, the best that have ever played have always taken big moments and treated them as little moments, right? Each play is going to be kind of the same, but they know how to rise to the occasion as well. And let's face it, Tom Brady, <laughs> I think he'll enjoy playing in overtime and trying to be the guy that leads his team to victory. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That good for 22 with a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. Now White. And some room to work. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Like 20. Now a play fake, Brady. And it's incomplete. He was looking for Edelman there, and it'll bring up third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Third and eight situation, a tough spot Wait. here in overtime Wait. on the opening drive. Wait. From the gun, Brady. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to at least get them a lead here in overtime. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will break our tie and give them a three-point lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. Well, it's not just the mindset of the teams that just changed on that play. My mindset changed. I don't even run an offensive play. Kick the field goal and take it home. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here we go now. Green, 39. Darnold, his first throw in overtime. Escaping the pressure right. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Patriots. The big fella. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. Still catching our breaths from that electric finish. You get into overtime, that's one thing. It was a great four quarters. But then an OT, not only to win it, but to win it on a defensive score. Wow. Oh, definitely. And I think from now on, we're going to definitely travel someone who can help us because I thought I was going to pass out at the end. <laughs> not just getting to the overtime, but the plays in overtime that led to this one and to finish it on a defensive touchdown, a takeaway that gets into the end zone. I'm not rooting for anyone, but boy, I love to see games finish that way.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL.